Well, let's go party members. We're finally on the final Nemli game, Jack in a Castle. Uh, I haven't seen too much about this game, but uh, I'm ready for it. So <laughs> honestly, let's just go ahead and hop right on into it. Oh shit, we're starting out with an old wizard. Let's go. Don't be scared, Marion. You got this. Yeah, yeah. You'll be just fine as long as you're just fine. Yes. We're all counting on you. Oh, okay. And uh, that's what Master said, but... I can't even find my way to the castle. Uh, we gotta do the usual thing. We'll ask someone. H hello Excuse me. Well, hello, hello there, dearie. I'm having trouble finding my way to the castle. I thought I'd see it once I arrived in town, but... Ah, yes, getting in the castle is tricky indeed. Why'd a doll like you want to enter that wretched place anyway? I'll tell him. I'm a servant there starting today. <gasps> a contact inside. Huh? You can count on me. I'll get you there right now. Follow me. Let's go. <laughs> We're here. There it is. Luigi's Mansion. We finally arrived. What the? Oh yeah, that thing has been crumbling to bits for a good while now. It's been like that ever since the king stopped showing his royal face to us commoners. Some say he's been cursed, so that's why. Others say the king has died and haunts the place. Ooh, I want to go back home. I got you here, so you're going to help me out, all right? I didn't agree to anything like that. Just find me a way to sneak in. I've got to find out what's going on in there myself. I don't know. Thanks, counting on you. Oh, we, we went flying. Goodbye. The bunny plushy boy has hopped off somewhere else. Is this even really the place? Oh, I bet it is. I made my way through the jungle I can only assume used to be the garden. At the gates, a moody looking guard let me in. He told me to find a jack-in-the-box named, well, Jack. Where should I look? <laughs> Kitchen or I don't know. Ah. <laughs> the only real option. There's a big hallway that looks as warped as everything else. All the doors are locked. Who are you? I, I'm Marion, the, the new servant. Oh, that's right. Welcome to the, uh, to the castle. And your name? You should. Sorry, what were you saying? No, no, it's okay. Go on. Um. Ha 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 ha. If you're looking for the boss, he's probably in the tower right now. Tower? That's an odd place. He likes the, uh, the view, I suppose. Uh, anyway, goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. I didn't get his name. The stairs seem to never end. It's really uncomfortable and a bit dark, too. But once I make it to the top floor, the view from the small window is great. Someone has carved the word Jack on the wooden door. No answer. It's probably locked, but I'll try anyway. Jack, you better be in here, otherwise we're gonna be fighting. He's not here. And what are these vine things? The whole castle is more or less overtaken by them. It better not be mold. There's also a curious looking box. Oh, we're opening that shit. Take a peek. I open the box. Inside is a bed. Who would want to sleep stuffed in a square space? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. You're Marion, marionette. Ha <laughs> ha, you scared me, uh, Mr. Jack. I'm sorry, it was my full intention. I was looking for you, and you have found me. What are you going to do next, hmm? Um... I bet you didn't think that far. No, I didn't. I bet you don't think at all. Uh, well, no matter, it's all right, you're a halfwit. At least you're easy on the eyes. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Is this the face you make when conversing? No, I, I'm sorry. I forgive you, of course. We've already established your lack of intelligence, after all. But I do have high expectations for you, so please work on that. Oh, we're gonna fight him. <sighs> ah, come now. I'm sorry I'm so harsh on you. Let me show you to your room. Jack, it's our evil goblin voice. Oh, perfect. It's like a holding cell. Just what we've always wanted to live in. Here you go. Here's your keys and here's your bed. You will sleep here until you wake up, and then I will show you around. 
Um, thank you. You start tomorrow. Good night. And then he ran away. I didn't think I'd get my own room. This might not be so bad. Wah! Ah, my goodness, Mr. Jack. Forgot to say welcome aboard. Good night. Oh, and then he ran away. Ah, I hate this place. But I'll do it for Master. Listen, Marion. My fellow intellectuals are worried about the land of Toyboxian. Seems the king hasn't shown himself in months now. His right-hand man has completely taken his place. He is, he is a toy named Jack. Jack is, uh, let's just say he's very, well, let's not say anything. I want you to go work under him as a servant. That way you can uncover what is going on over there. I'll do it, but why me? I'm not particularly good at anything. That's precisely why. You're a hapless, clueless idiot. Oh shit, everyone just shooting on Marion. You won't pose any kind of threat and he'll let his guard down. Ah, I see. Thank you, sir. I have utmost faith in you. I'll utilize my haplessness and cluelessness. Good morning. Ah, uh, just barge in, why not? Good morning. You're late. I'm giving a speech to my subjects at this instant o'clock. You are? I wish you would have told me yesterday. I didn't know yesterday that I'd give a speech tomorrow. But today came and I knew. I'll give a speech right now. Ah, uh, at once, Sir Jack. King Jack today. But you don't have to bow down because we're late. Yes, your majesty. I help Jack dress up before dressing myself. Yes, this'll do just fine. Is he really going out in public like that? I'll be off then. All right. <laughs> he, looked, he looked like a nerd. Got him. Yes, he is. I better get ready for the day too. He didn't show me around after all. Where should I work? The kitchen, the toilets, nowhere. Is this our rebellious phase? We just start working nowhere? Yeah, I don't want to work in the kitchen, toilets, or anywhere, so we're going nowhere. Jack didn't bother giving me any orientation, so I'm not gonna lift a finger. Instead, I'll go looking for the king. Let's go for the king, that's a great game. I think I hear something. Quit pushing me this instant. Shut up, they'll hear you. I've changed my mind, I'm going back. No, 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 Sylv. Can I help you? <gasps> oh, it's just the dolly from before. Almost gave me a heart attack. See, Sylv, he's the one I was talking about. All right, we gotta ask the, uh, the hard-hitting questions. We don't care how they got in, but what are you doing here? Ah, uh, we are simply gathering intel. Yep. You really shouldn't be here. I have to call the guards if you don't leave. Guards, my hiney. Thanks to you, we can finally solve the mystery of the missing king. Uh, let's discuss this somewhere else. And off we go. They tell me they want my help figuring out what happened to the king. I tell them I'm also here to find that out. It seems we have the same objective. See, I knew we'd find something good today, didn't I? Uh, I did. Uh, either way, my name is Sylvester. I'm Marion. And I'm really annoying. <gasps> Rude. I'm Bunny. Pleasure to meet you, dear. Let's get down to business, shall we? The basket case Jack is out there giving one of his bizarre speeches again. I figured this would be the perfect time to come snooping around. Yes, many of the guards are watching over Jack right now. I suggest Marion guides us to the king's chambers. Even if I wanted to, I don't know where that is. Don't you work here, honey? I just started yesterday. Surely you know at least some of the area. I guess. Then it's settled. Marion sneaks around with one of us. And one person can stay behind on watch. There's a direct view to the square. So we can see when the speech finally ends. Who will you assist around the castle? I mean, I don't trust uh, Bunny to stay behind to keep watch. Uh, <laughs> so I think we'll uh, assist Bunny around the castle and have Sylvester stay behind. Gotcha, let's go. Are you certain about this? Well, of course he is. Come on then, dear. Bye bye Sylv. And off we went. Sylvester stays behind with a worried look. Goodbye, Sylv. Hmm, let's see. If I was a king, where would I want my chamber to be? I don't think it's up to the king. I mean the architects. That's fascinating, Marion. Let's try this way. And off we go. 
Hmm, I dunno, kinda not what I expected. Let's think about this first. Maybe here instead. Oh, and off they go. Bunny? Nope, not here. I don't think so. There's logic to how buildings are built if we just take the time to... Say, Marion, are those eyes just for show? Huh? Have you been looking around lately? If there's some logic to this place, it sure fooled me. I can't believe this place is even standing. Run around blindly or lead the way. Uh, lead the way, why not? Ah, uh, fine, you lead the way. That's what I thought. Let's see here. And off they go, that way. I followed Bunny around a bunch. Hmm, huh. So, up yours, Marion. This place is huge. I didn't say anything yet. If we just keep going, we'll run into something. It's not like this place is infinite, you know. Ah, uh, whatever, it's getting late. Let's go back to Sylvester. One more room. No. Something is in the next room, I swear. Ah, uh, fine, one more. All right, but after that, we're going back. Got it. Hmm. Behold, the missing king is in this room. Bunny opens the door leading to another hallway. In one of these rooms. Ah, <sighs> I'm going back. Wait, just one more. Marion. And then she ran away from us. We returned to my room. How did it go? Well... It was a waste of time. Uh, don't say it like that. Color me surprised. You're both planning on blaming me, aren't you? Let's not start pointing fingers. As unfortunate as this is, I expected as much. Well, that's not because of either of you. One simply must fail before success. That's how we learn. So what now? We'll continue our search tomorrow. Bunny will tell me all the places you visited today and I'll make a plan based on that. All right. Let's meet tomorrow at the same spot we did today. Gotcha. I help them exit the castle without being seen. I stare out of a window at the crowd Jack has gathered. There are a decent number of toys, but I'm sure it'd be a lot more if the real king was giving a speech. The crowd starts scattering. Jack will be back soon. And he'll have no idea I've been betraying him by letting outsiders into the castle. <sighs> we didn't even end up finding anything. We'll try again. I'm sure we'll find something if we keep on looking. Anyway, was I supposed to use this day to settle in? I mean, I didn't receive any instructions whatsoever. I'm sure Jack or someone will show me around tomorrow. I'll just rest until morning. Turns out I was wrong. No one is helping me out at all. Other toys just passed me by as if I wasn't there. Jack hired me as a servant, but he hasn't told me what exactly I'm supposed to be doing. Does he think I already know, or is he just testing how lazy I am? Ah, uh, what do I do? Oh, we're gonna continue our search for the missing king. We're gonna meet Bunny and Sylvester. We're not doing any work this playthrough. Well then, since no one seems to miss me, I'll keep looking for the king. Let's go. You're here already? Yep, you're just in time. Ah, uh, good to see you. So, what's the plan? I drew us a map based on yesterday. I expect it to be faulty, but it should help us skip the areas we've already covered. Not to mention how bad you are at drawing, Sylv. Yes, that too. Jack isn't having a speech today, so there are more guards. But luckily, we've already covered most common areas. Yeah, we're checking places no one cares about today. Still, we need to be extra careful. Hey, Marion? Yeah? I know things went south yesterday, but I'd still like to go with you again today. Um, why? What do you mean why? To find the king. Right. Were you expecting something more personal, hmm? Ugh, enough of that. Who will assist you around the castle this time? Oh, we're, we're going for the bunny boy. I'll go with bunny. Good. You two sure seem to get along. I wouldn't say that. Don't be jealous, Sylv. You're still my favorite. Ah, <sighs> please look after this buffoon, Marion. I'll try. We'll be fine. Today's the day we'll find the king. I wouldn't be so sure. Thanks for being so supportive, Sylv. Bunny yanks Sylv's badly drawn map and off we go. Let's go. Since I've got the map, I'll lead the way. Do we just, do we just let Bunny yank us around? Sure, why not? Well, all right. I'll leave it to you. Hehe, <laughs> thank you, dear. I've got a good feeling about today. I don't. We skip all the servant areas as well as all the places from yesterday. It seems all the vines are coming from the same direction. We decide to check that out first. 
Oh, that's gonna be the king. He's behind here. He's become vines. He is Groot. Oh, look at that. It's like this door has a disease. I can't deny that, as stupid as it sounds. They sure have it locked up tight. <gasps> so then... Oh ho ho ho! Welcome, Marion. This is the king's door. Um... Ta-da! It's definitely the most suspicious looking room so far. But I wouldn't really assume the king's in there. At least if he's still alive. Now, what do we say? Ha! Huh? You who doubted me, do you have anything to say to me? Ah, uh, sorry for doubting you. Ha ha, that's all right. I'll forgive you for a kiss. Um, quickly, before I change my mind. Oh, look at that, that door sure is locked, huh? It sure is. Oh, we're gonna kiss the bunny boy. We can finally complete our arc of becoming a furry. <laughs> Uh, that's the last thing we want. Guess your reward will have to wait until we actually find the king himself. But you're saying I do get one after that. Let's just go back already. Who goes there? Oh crap, someone is coming. There's nowhere to hide. A bunny grabs me. Oh, let's go. Unhand me, you jerk. Huh? Ah, the intruder. Good work, or, uh, what is it? Uh, Mary? Marion. Let go of me. Ah ha ha, we're gonna throw him out. The guard sees his bunny. I stand by like an idiot. We're gonna put him on the execution block. It's off to the dungeon with you. You sure are strong, Mr. Guard. D don't uh, try a anything with me. I, I I won't fall for it. You, um, Martin, they're asking for you in the, uh, the, the kitchen. I watch as the guard hauls the bunny off to the dungeons. Let's go. Thanks to Bunny, I get to continue my work and investigation. I hope Sylvester won't kill me. I know the guards said they need me in the kitchen, but first things first. Welcome back. <laughs> Where's Bunny? I tell him Bunny got caught covering for me. <sighs> I knew letting him go with you was a bad idea. I'm sorry. No, don't be. I didn't mean that it's your fault. Bunny is just, uh, too impulsive. I guess. But we did find a really weird door. It seemed like all the vines were coming from there. Hmm, that is odd. Hmm. Well, I really think he is mad at me after all. Yeah. I'm going to have to really think about our next move. Would you look out for Bunny on my behalf? Yes, of course. Sylvester nods and leaves. Goodbye. Once the sun sets, I go looking for Bunny. Oh, we're gonna find him. I go to the prison cells underground at the very bottom floor. Bunny? Ah, it's Marion. I'm over here. Are you okay? Yep, fine and dandy. That guard guy is awfully shy. He left as soon as he locked me in here. Who cares about that? What are we going to do now? Just give me some time to think about it. All right. Uh-huh. Leave it to me. This ain't my first time in a pinch. You just keep looking for a way to open the door to the king's chamber. Well, if it is his chamber in the first place, right, what do you suppose is in there? Brooms or king's corpse? We're going for the corpse. The king's corpse. Sheesh, you better hold your nose going in then. I hope the maggots did their job already. Well, I hope the king's alive. I bet Jack has all the keys. That place was locked up so tight, I don't even think a janitor or anyone is allowed in. Yeah. So I'd start getting all buddy-buddy with Jack. I think he hates me. Then you better work extra hard to get on his good side. Ah, but he's so... Ah, someone's coming. Run away. I could barely hide in time. So this is the traitor. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Do we know each other? You're being awfully familiar with me, peasant. Aren't you a peasant too? Today I'm King Jack. You may want to bow down. Oh, go jack off in a box. What's that, plushy boy? I could have your stuffings pulled out at the drop of a hat. Or the drop of a crown. Ha 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 ha. Oh ho, aren't you a big, strong boy, Mr. Jack? I didn't catch your name. Oh, but you caught little old me. Hee hee hee. Ah, I tire of these word games. Speed this up, Goliathos. Yes, sir. The guard gives Bunny a firm, backhanded slap. The way his armor caught Bunny's skin makes me flinch. Oh, how rude. So, about that name. 
<sighs> Bunny Rabbit. I should have guessed that. Of course, it's the most uncreative name. Said Jack the Jack in the Box. If I need a scribe, I'll send for you. Thank you. Well, that's all I needed from you tonight. I have to go thank my new servant for catching you. Okie dokie. Good night, Jack. Bye bye. You heard him, doll. Chop chop. I better hurry back to my room. There you are. Here I am. So you are. So you are. Ha 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 What am I doing? <laughs> Enough of that. I have a reason to be here. Marion. Or like a Pokemon. Yes, sir, Jack. Goliathos told me all about it. Um, who? My trustiest guard. He was about to capture the intruder, but lo and behold, who was already there? The puny, useless, and frankly boring servant I had been so cold to. Oh, yes. Here I thought you might have been a spy. What with you snooping around my room the other day? Ah. Uh. Well, it's all in the past now. I've forgiven you, so do forgive me. Of course. Of course. Wonderful. Well, that's all I wanted from you for now. Oh, goodbye. Off he goes. I should go to bed. And so we did. Z, 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 z. Marion. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt your sleep, but this was the best opportunity to come. Bunny is okay, if uh, that's what you're here for. I have located a weak spot in one of the dungeon floors, probably because of how the castle was warped. I'm ready to break Bunny out as soon as you found out what happened to the king. I'll let Bunny know. But why wait until we're done? Because Jack will start suspecting everyone, especially you, his newest employee. Getting in the king's chamber would be a lot more difficult with heightened security. I suppose. Well, that's all I wanted to tell you. Good night. Good night. I have a hard time waking up. Having zero interest in the job I'm supposed to be doing doesn't help. But I drag myself out of bed with sheer willpower. Let's go. Infinite power. Thanks for finally showing up. Uh, sorry. I don't even have the time to scold you. Hurry up and get to work. Looks like we're running late. Because of me. That can't be. How did they manage before me then? Eventually we get everything done right on time. Whew. That was close. I'm sorry I was so harsh earlier. It's just stressful lately. Uh, why? Well, maybe I shouldn't tell you. But most of the servants quit when the king went missing. I see. Why didn't you? Haha. <laughs> I can't be such a wimp. I got a family to feed. This castle could warp itself into oblivion and I'd still be right here. Oh, several eternities later, the day is finally over. I decide to visit Bunny. Oh, we're gonna get our Bunny Boy prison time. I hear noises coming. Oh no. I hear noises coming from the dungeons. Fine then, don't talk. I've got time. We can do this all night long. Sounds good, Jack. But I'm not lying. I was working alone. Really now, someone as stupid as you just happened to dilly-dally his way into my castle? With no help from, say, someone from the inside? Oh, come on, Jack. Have you seen this place? I'd say it's seen better days, wouldn't you? Don't try and change the subject. Where's the rest of your group? I'll say it one more time, so listen close, dear. I don't have a group. They certainly don't seem to care for you much. I thought they would have barged in here already to come get you. What a good excuse it would be for them. Overthrow me to rescue a friend. Listen here, honey. The only membership I have is for the Carrot Cake Monthly. What? It's great. You get invited to taste some of the best of carrot cakes. What does this have to do with anything? My personal favorite so far is the Figurine Bakery's exclusive and exquisite Gourmet Deluxe Supreme Orange Delight. And don't you forget it. <laughs> it's so good. I'd kill for a slice right now. Ah! Your mouth keeps moving, but nothing useful comes out of it. Hey, I just shared with you the best of bakery in existence. Ah, let's see what you'll share after a week with no food. Aw, you're leaving. But Jack, you promised me all night. Change of plans. I feel like having some carrot cake. Ah, wanna share? Oh, how mean. I stay hidden. Jack walks right past me. I wait until I'm certain he's nowhere near. You seem in high spirits. Oh, Marion. What was that all about? Oh ho, Jack acts all tough but has nothing on me. He can't get rid of me either since so far I'm his only lead. Lead for what? Finding out all the toys trying to oppose him, duh. 
Don't dumb me. How was I supposed to know? Well, obviously, silly thing. Why wouldn't there be toys trying to get that clown down from his stolen throne? Jack's probably trying to snuff them out before they can get the chance to act. I had no idea you were part of such a group. I'm not. No? No way. Those toys just want chaos and mayhem. They're using the missing king as an excuse to rile toys up so they can raid the castle. I see. Yeah, I'm so not up for that. I just want to find the king. How surprisingly noble of you. Oh, we're, 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 uh, we're, we're a noble bunny indeed. I don't know why I've changed us to be the bunny and not Marion. <laughs> oh yeah, then everyone will think I'm a hero and give me all kinds of money and food. Just the things I want in real life. I take it back, not noble at all. And me and Sylv just want to tell everyone what happened to the king. With that information in the public, things will happen on their own. So there's no need for violence or any of that. Wow, look how noble we are. Things will happen on their own, huh? Fine, I don't get it either. It's Sylv who has it all figured out. Anyway, I tell Bunny about Sylvester being ready to get him out anytime we're ready. Oh, ho, ho, ho. leave it to Sylv. Let's get in that chamber then. Or broom closet, whichever it is. Yeah, but how? The plan hasn't changed. Get on Jack's good side and get his keys. Or better yet, get him to spill the beans about it, the king himself. You know, Bunny, you keep saying that, but how am I supposed to befriend him? I don't like him, and he doesn't like me as far as I can tell. And I'm not like you. Not like me. I can't just go all, Ah, gee, oh boy, let's be besties, my dear. I, I'm not like that. But, well, if you suck at making friends, just be someone he trusts. Because that's so much easier. Do you want my help or not? Ah, sorry. And it is easier. You just have to get the other servants to goodmouth you. And that is... Why, what do you think it is, hmm? Coming from you, I'm not so sure. It's the opposite of bad-mouthing, silly. Right, of course. I sincerely doubt Jack has any interest in gossip. Come on, he's the boss, right? He has to stay in touch with what's going on so he'll listen to what his servants say. And if his servants say good things about you, he'll trust you more, right? So all I need is to do my job properly. I'm off to a bad start already. Nah, uh if you're going for the behind your back praise, others have to like you. Ah, uh, this is such a roundabout way of doing things. Roundabout is the way to go when you're un- Roundabout is the way to go when you're undercover. Ah, uh, besides, didn't we just agree I'm crap at making friends? That's okay, just remember to smile. No one likes a whiner. First I read that as a wiener, but <laughs> all you need in life is a good attitude and everything will work out just fine. You're in prison. Everything works out just fine. <laughs> I decide to take his advice with a grain of salt. I'll see what I can do. If you succeed, I'll give you a kiss. Oh, perfect. Yep, you know what we have to do, why wait? Why wait? Hmm? You're stuck in there. I can get a kiss whenever I want. Oh ho, not if I move to the back of the cell you won't. Anyway, it's almost morning already, I have to go. Good night, sleep tight. If I sleep tight now, I'll definitely fail to wake up on time. Not my problem. Oh, uh, we didn't get the kiss. How could this game do this to us? We had one job. If we don't get a kiss the buddy boy, I'm going to riot. But it might be better if I don't go to sleep at all anymore. Yeah, someone's coming, better hide. I don't want to have to explain why I'm here at this hour. Like, all the toilets up until now were occupied or something. Oh, it's just him. Uh, but maybe I shouldn't. He must be on his night rounds. No, no, I must. But he's probably asleep, I shouldn't. I, I can't come any other time. But I wish he'd have this battle with himself somewhere else. I'd really like to get back to my room already. No, if it's not now, I won't do it. Uh, all right, it, it'll it be fine, just fine. He goes down towards the dungeon. Oh, he's gonna get the buddy pussy before us. <laughs> he's gonna get the buddy before us? How could he? Uh, okay, I'll check out what he's up to. Just in case it's something I need to know. Um, he, here you go. The guard hands Bunny some food. Hmm, for me? The guard nods profusely. Really? Thank you, Goliathos. You're the sweetest. You you know my name? Well, duh. I'd never forget a handsome face. Ah, uh, you can't even see his face, you liar. Erm, uh, uh I, I see. Jack mentioned your name before you punched me, you big meanie. Uh, that, that, that's why. Hmm? 
the food, but because of that, I, uh... Ah, I get it. This food is an apology. Yes. Thank you. I might forgive you then. Maybe. But that happened a while ago. Why are you giving me food now? Ah. Uh, oh. Aw. Oh, sad Goliathos. Someone is shy. I, I, I have to, I have to go now. For a future reference, I like vegetables a lot and salads. Maybe some juice, too. The guard rushes by, too nervous to notice me. I feel a bit stupid for not bringing Bunny any food myself. But he didn't ask for it, I didn't think of it. Anyway, seems he's got that covered now, so it's okay. He's going to steal the money from us, and then we're going to die. I get back to my room just in time to see the sunrise. No sleep for me then. I have to fight against the urge to crawl under the blanket. So I stare blankly out the window until it's time to get to work. I'm dead tired. I have no soul left in me, I just want to sleep. Still, I have to be nice to everyone today. Gross. Ah, you're already here. Good morning. Good morning. You seem in a good mood today. You know nothing. Yep, it's a lovely day. Makes me smile just looking at you. Is there anything you need help with? Oh yes, they didn't deliver us any potatoes yesterday. If you could go buy some from the market, that'd be a great help. Yeah, we don't want to be like too fake and happy. So we're going to give like a more neutral response. One bag is fine. We should get more tomorrow. All right. See you soon. Thanks a bunch. She seems sincerely happy. Meanwhile, I have to go pick up potatoes I don't give a crap about. See, and that's why we don't act too fake. She would have caught on. Her superior chef brain would have <laughs> seen we didn't like the potatoes. Ah, but if this gets me closer to finding the king, I'll do it. The shopkeeper is delighted that I bought a whole bag of potatoes. At first, it's easy enough to carry, but it gets heavier with each step. Ah. <sighs> oh, it, it's Mark. Crap, it's the guard. Smile, smile. Hi. Hello, what are you doing here? Carry, carrying a sack of potatoes. He answered his own question. What am I supposed to reply now? It's, uh, yeah, it sure is heavy too. <laughs> oh, that's right. Allow me to carry it. Huh? I got it. Oh. Um, I mean, yep, uh, got it. Your help would be greatly appreciated. Yes, yes, I'll help you. Guard picks up the potato sack. He runs to the castle with such enthusiasm, I have a hard time keeping up. He's like, yes, please, I need these potatoes for our bunny boy. H here you go. Thank you so much. No, not a problem at all. I love carrying potatoes. Oh, uh, good. Okay. <laughs> um, if, if you need someone to carry more potatoes, I'm your man. Uh, uh. He seems to regret opening his mouth. I should say something nice to make him feel better. Um, yep, you're the best at carrying potatoes. Ah, um, thanks. <laughs> I regret opening my mouth. This is it then. This was my life. I'm going to die here from this awkwardness. I, I mean, th thank you. You too, you're the best at, uh, not, not carrying potatoes. <laughs> Goliathos never change. When, when can we remote romance him? He, he seems just like our type. I'm, I'm ready for it. I would like to leave now. I think he would like to leave now. Is there any way to wrap this up gracefully? Oh... If we act like Bunny, he might want to uh, do explicit things with us. Alright, well the guard seems to really like Bunny, so I'm gonna actually go with that option. So, Mr. Guard. Y yes Thanks again so much. Ah, no, no problem. Me and the cook will make these potatoes extra tasty just for you. Really? Thank you. I, uh, should go to, uh, go to work extra hard so I can eat a lot. There he goes. <laughs> I did my best to be nice to everyone. And I did all the work given to me. Even if Jack wouldn't hear about it, I'm sure the garden cook trusts me now. That makes it easier to wander around the castle. I go to sleep early. The next day is my day off. I was thinking I'd go do some investigating around the castle. Or maybe forget all about that for a day and go relax in a cafe. Instead, I sleep the whole day. It was pretty great. Let's go sleeping the whole day. Alrighty, and then with us kind of wrapping up here on a day, before we start into the new, <laughs> I don't know, end of the night, into the new day, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. 
Thank you so much to all the party members that came out today, and thank you to all the new ones that have been joining us. My name is Haven, and I hope to see you in the next one where we, I don't know, get farther in solving the mystery of the king and uh, destroy our voice some more. Doing these voices. <laughs> Alrighty, have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.